Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am. I am fine. Good evening. Good evening. You're fine. Excellent. Nice. Okay. One day away from the weekend. Tomorrow is Friday. Okay. And Monday we finish. Okay, excellent. Then let's begin, my friends. Good evening, Patricia. How are you? Fine, teacher. And you? So, I too. Yes, a little hot. But yes, teacher. Uh, today, Very hot. today is hot. I don't know why. Yes. Okay. Well, good evening, my friends. Today is February the 24th. This is class 23. We're going to be working on clarifying a point. Clarifying a point. <clears throat> okay, welcome to your English class. This is the general objective. This is the specific objective. And this is tonight's objective, to learn how to use expressions to clarify a point, okay? In the agenda tonight, we have typical food, typical food dialogue, simply said, clarification, and the table that we always have, okay? So let's see. The warm up is going to be typical food. But before we begin talking about typical food, let's see who's here and who isn't here. Today is the 24th. Ada Patricia Linares. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Very good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Ana Selmi Chévez. Ana Michelle Guevara. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Present teacher. Nice. Darwin. Present teacher. Nice. Gloria Elizabeth Linares. Nice. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present teacher. José Carlos Targuete. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Mayra Melanie Guevara. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmín Baires Solórzano. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Don Osmín. Welcome on board. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Good evening, present. Good evening, nice to meet you. Rafael Ernesto González, Rosa Elena Salgado, Gladys eh, Méndez, Sandra Gladys Méndez, Yancy Lizbeth Hernández, Zulma Rosaura López. Present. Excellent. Flor de María Carballo. Marvin Alexander Bonilla, René Osvaldo Bonilla, Susana Carolina Hernández, Dani Antonio Sigüenza, Danis Adalberto Fuentes. Present. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present, teacher. A tiempo vine. <coughs> right. <laughs> Exactly on time. Danis. <laughs> good evening. Good brother Hi. Danis. Hi, good evening. It's yeah. a yesterday music, reggaeton. No, no. In the classes. No, no. I imagine. No, no like. No like. His favorite. Cumbia. Cumbia, cumbia. Cumbia. Okay. Eduardo Ernesto Hernandez, not here. Jose Ignacio Franco. Present teacher, I'm here until I arrived on time. 
Just on time, okay. Carla Veronica Vasquez. Present, good evening. Good evening, nice. Okay, let's begin, my friends. Let's begin. So, tonight we're going to be talking about typical food. My friends, when you think about typical food, what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind when you talk about typical food? Pupusas. Pupusas, right? Yeah, you think about pupusas. That is the, the king of, of typical food. What else? Yuca frita. Oh yeah, yuca frita. What else? Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. And the breakfast, typical, typical breakfast, sorry. Typical breakfast, okay. Yeah. yeah. Big one. Yeah. In... Tamalito de lote, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, at the morning, the typical uh, combo, combo typical. Okay. The beans, beans eggs, and eggs, cream. and cream. Uh -huh. Bananas and cream. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a typical. No corras. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Did I send you the presentation? I think I sent you the, pre the presentation, but probably I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Could be that I didn't. Could yes, be that I didn't. Yes. Because after my presentation, there were many messages. So, but let me see. Maybe, maybe Glorita is right and I didn't send it. Okay, let me see. Yeah, you didn't send. No, I didn't send it. Okay. Let's see. Ta -da, ta -da. Now, this is yesterday's, right? I sent yesterday's, 20, 22nd, for today, no. All right, I'm going to send it to you right now. Okay, so this is 23, it's already uploading, that, um, it has, it's already there. Let me close it because uh, Zoom is your own, it doesn't, it says, is always protesting. Ah, there isn't, there aren't enough resources, and Zoom is going to close. So, okay, for that reason, I prefer to send it early. But I had the notion that I had sent it, but maybe not. Okay, let's see. Check, my friends. Typical food. <laughs> Delicious, right? Delicious, yes. delicious, delicious, delicious pupusas. Ah, delicious pupusas. You're going to go, I mean, you're going to run off uh, looking for pupusas. Okay, so yeah, delicious. Okay. Yeah, but <laughs> me not yet a diner right now. I haven't eaten dinner yet. In a moment, you're going to be. <laughs> it's a, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then, what is typical food? We say pastelitos, nuegados, eh, tamalitos, tos, eh, chuca, de... pan con pollo, atoles de chuco. 
It's true. What else? Too cold. Canoas. Sopa de mondongo. Oh, yeah, mondongo. Okay. Late con pegado torrejas. Yes, torrejas, of course. Plátano en miel. Yes. Yuca salcochada con pepescas. Oh, oh yeah. Ya me está dando hambre. Yes. Or even jocote, right? Jocote en miel. Mm -hmm. Yes. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, there is one that you have forgotten about. Well, there are many. We have a tol de lote that you didn't remember. But um, there is another one that is a tortilla with, uh, with a lot of things on top. Enchiladas, right? Enchiladas. Yeah, so, teacher, tortilla with salt is 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 <laughs> so, right. Yeah. yeah, of course. Okay. So yeah. when, when when I have too much hungry, tortilla with salt is very very. Okay, tortilla is very hungry. When you are very hungry, you eat that. Okay. <clears throat> So we have already mentioned more than five uh, examples of typical food. Which is the best, according to you? The best of the best. Pupusas. Pupusas, right? Yeah, for me, pupusas. I can eat pupusas for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, no problem. Yeah. I don't like. You don't like pupusas? No. The only one that doesn't like pupusas, okay? <laughs> because most of the people... Sorry, Danny, where you are from? <laughs> <laughs> Danny, for me? I, I don't like pupusas, I love them, he says. <laughs> yes, okay. he says, sell me. Sell me. For me, it's okay, the old meal. I can eat, uh, I enjoy it. Pupusas, teacher. Pupusas, right? Or meal, yeah, uh -huh. all right. Me too. For any meal or for all meals, pupusa for breakfast, for lunch, or for dinner, no problem. Yes, okay. That's, yeah. They are uh, sorry, I, I don't know, teacher, but in my home, my, my daughter and, and son, to eat the tortillas with milk. Oh, yeah. At the morning, at the morning, yeah. Uh -huh. But we're talking about cow's milk, not milk that you cook in the house, right? So, but cow's milk, fresh from the cow, but that is even warm. Uh, cow, with salt and everything, wow, yes. I really. <laughs> I remember in Chalatenango, yes. Yeah. Chalatenango. <laughs> or also they had, uh, I don't know the name, but they had uh, milk, fresh milk of cow that was uh, boiled. And then they had uh, uh, a plantain, platanos. That was very, very good. Okay, excellent. There is one typical from Chalatenango, but I probably, be, I mean, I believe that probably you have never eaten. Yeah, near to the Bio de Amayo, maybe, or... Ayote en leche. Bio de Amayo, donde es esto? Ayote en leche? Ah, el desvío de Amayo. Okay. Yes. By the end, so to Chalatenango, La Reina, and all of this, those places. Okay, so, Ayote en leche. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Delicious, yeah. teacher. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Which is the most uncommon? Which is the most uncommon typical food? The most famous pupusas, but the less, the less or the least famous. Which is the least famous? And then. Teacher, in my opinion, the 
most uncommon is the arroz en leche, Rice. pero con dulce de atado. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come. yeah. It's good too. Arroz is good. With panela. Uh -huh. Yes. It's true. Panela. Panela. Uh -huh. Very good. And panela. It's true. Okay. Rice milk and candy. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Yes, very good. Okay. When was the last time that you ate a typical dish? When was the last time that you ate a typical dish? Last week? Last Yesterday. Week? Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Right now. What did you and what did you eat, Rosita? Yesterday I eat no, I ate two pupusas. <laughs> ah, okay, excellent. Okay, very good. Nice. Somebody else, when was the last time that you ate typical food? And what was the typical food? Right now. Right now you are eating pupusas. No, feed, feed pig. Sorry? Uh, pata de cerdo. Oh, okay. Yes. Intestine. Okay. Yes. Yeah. People like that. Yeah, it's very well. Okay, excellent. Very good. Let's I, see. I, in 50 minutes, I will eat pupusas. Excellent. You have already called the, the place to bring you some. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice move. Very nice move. Okay. Excellent. So, which is your favorite dish? We said that the best is pupusas, but some people don't. I mean, that is not their favorite. What's your favorite? Pupusas. Manjar blanco. <laughs> okay. Or poliada. Poliada. Ah, poliada. Um, oh, chilate con nuevas. My, my favorite. Ah. Juega de yuca. Juega de yuca o de huevo. No, yuca. <laughs> no, de huevo. Huevo, okay. okay. Solo ir, no los he probado, la verdad. <laughs> Yo creo que chilacayote. Uh, I don't know in English what to say, but. No, chilacayote. Una galleta, porque ya me dio hambre. Todo lo que estamos hablando me, se me antoja. Yuca, but yuca de chachuapa. Oh my God. Oh, yes. Delicious. Yes. But I don't like that they. Yeah. Near, It's eh, the best yuca. Yes. Yes. Near, near, to, near to Del Tazo, Mal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Good. I have many years ago I did it. Near Tazo, Mal. But. Yes. Delicious. Merienda, because they put merienda on top. Yeah. No, they put chicharrón. No. <laughs> they say merienda with. I know. Okay, pesca, yes. Okay, bolitos, <laughs> yes, but, but. No, me... fritada, no. Chicharrón, too. Ah, no, yeah. fritada, no. Y... No, fritada, no, no, no. <laughs> I want to continue living. Uh -huh. Yeah, no. Yeah, in the breakfast, the, the fritada. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. no. Yes. Breakfast <laughs> Is something different. Okay. All moment. <laughs> okay. Now, so where do you usually eat typical food? Near your house? Pupusas. In Pupusas. my house, eat pupusas, yes. Near, okay, you, you buy them and you eat them at home. In Or my... from where do you eat them? I buy them. You buy them. Uh -huh. yeah. People go to the pizzeria and they eat them there. Yes, close my house. Uh -huh. And some people get one whole bottle. They they get uh, three or four. <laughs> <laughs> the bottle of curtis. <laughs> oh my god! For all the four pupusas, 
Come on. Really terrible. Uh -huh. In, in Sauce? Sauce. So, okay. so the different, the teacher, the different is the, in any corner, any cell, the pupusas. So in my colony. Yes. In, 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 in my neighborhood, yes, like just about any corner. And pupusas are just great. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I live in Planet de Renderos. I eat much pupusas. Yeah, plan, Planet de Renderos, of course. Yeah, sorry, but it's very expensive. Mm, Big depends. Depends. Yeah. Where? Where, right? The, it depends. But, but these are very, very good pupusas. Yes, from Oloquilta, too. Yeah. yeah. Very yes. Good. Good yes. In in my, los, in, sorry, in los planes de rendero, it don't only pupusas include the temperature. Yeah, and, the, yeah that is nice too. Yes. La, it's very fresh. Yeah. Fresh and ice. Yeah. Ah, nice, nice. So, and the smoke. Yeah. sell me <laughs> happy. Where do you eat, do you eat the pupusas? In close to my to my house is some of the pupuserias in Merliot, uh -huh. Santa Tecla. Santa but Tecla. they are very expensive because the pupusas, each pupusas, um, ninety cents dollar or one dollar twenty five. It's better if you go to Paseo El Carmen and you buy them yes. there. They are cheaper. Yes, it's similar. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Or near yes. Funter, near Funter. Over there. Mm -hmm. um, getting getting to the traffic circle that takes you to uh, what's the name of uh, what's the name? I forget the name of the place. So but near Platillo. there is a there, there are some pupuserias there and Prices are good. Yeah, and they are the pusas are delicious too. Okay, yeah. excellent. Do, do a tol de lote in planes de renderos, teacher. Yeah, yeah. It's, true. it's true. And it's very good too. Yeah, yeah. a tol de riguas, a tol de lote. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yuca. Mm -hmm. yeah, all of them are very good. All right. Ya, ya cerraron el Parque Balboa para poder ir después de clase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so bad. Closed. Uh -huh. they are closed. Yes, it's well. true. They, they closed already. So let's see. Salvadorian typical food. Salvadorian cuisine is a style of cooking derived from the nation of El Salvador. The indigenous foods consist of a mix of Native American cuisine from groups such as the Lenca, Pipil, Maya, Pocoman, Pocomam, eh, Maya Chorti, Alguilac, Mexe, or Mixe, and, and Cacaopera peoples. Many of the dishes are made uh, with maize or corn. There is also heavy use of pork and seafood. All war ingredients were incorporated after the Spanish conquest. El Salvador's most notable dish is the pupusa, a thick handmade corn flour or rice uh, flour flatbread stuffed with cheese, chicharron, that is cooked pork, meat ground to a paste consistency, refried uh, beans or loroco, that is a vine flour, flour bud native to Central America, there are also vegetarian options, often with ayote, a type of squash or garlic. Some restaurants even offer pupusas stuffed with shrimp or spinach, which are served with salsa roja, a cooked tomato sauce, often served with curtido. Pollo en cebollado is another popular Salvadoran dish that contains chicken simmered with onion. Salvadorian cheeses, queso duro or hard cheese, queso fresco, fresh cheese, and cuajada are eaten with meals, okay? Um, 
Two other typical Salvadoran dishes are yuca frita and panes rellenos. Yuca frita is deep fried cassava or cassava root served with curtido, a pickled cabbage, onion, and carrot topping. In chicharrón with pepesca, fried baby sardines. The yuca is sometimes served boiled instead of fried. Panes rellenos, stuffed bread, are warm submarine sandwiches. The turkey or chicken is marinated and then roasted with pipil spices and hand pulled. This sandwich is traditionally served with turkey or chicken, tomato and watercress, along with cucumber and cabbage. Other well-known Salvadoran dishes include uh, carne guisada or sauce beef with tomatoes and carrots, lomo and tomatado, that is beef with tomatoes, carne asada, that is grilled steak, usually served with a type of Salvadorian salsa called chimol, that in English they call the salsa grovy, G-R-B-B-Y, grovy. Okay, so, uh, Teles de carne, that is meat pies. Eh, pollo guisado con hongos, that is chicken with mushrooms. Pacaya planta, palm flowers breaded in cornmeal, fried and served with tomato sauce. Pavo salvadoreño, that is roast turkey with sauce, often eaten for Christmas. Ceviche de camarones, that is lime cooked shrimp. And pescado empanizado, that is breaded fried fish fillet. Salvadorian's chorizo is short, fresh, not dried, and tied into twin sausages. This was taken from Wikipedia, okay? So this is for cuisine. All right, my friends. Over here, we have some words that we need to check. Derived, derived means derivado, right? Derived, indigenous, indigenous, cuisine, cuisine, style, derived, okay. And then we have uh, dishes, maize, heavy use of pork and seafood, ingredients, ingredients, incorporated, incorporated after Spanish conquest, conquest, notable dish, Thick handmade corn flour, flour, rice flour, flatbread, stuffed, stuffed with cheese. Then meat, pork meat, ground, ground is molida, ground to a paste consistency, refried, refried beans or loroco. Okay, and then vegetarian options. Okay, then we have uh, garlic stuffed with shrimp or spinach, served with salsa roja, cooked tomatoes, tomato sauce, okay, served with curtido, that is also, that is a type of coleslaw, and the pollo cebollado is another popular Salvadoran dish that contains chicken simmered with onion, cooked with onions. Salvadorian cheeses, queso duro, hard cheese, fresh cheese, in cuajada or cottage cheese. We have cuajada and we have um, the other one that, what's the name of the other one that we, we eat similar to cuajada? Queso fresco. Requesón, right? That's Requesón. Cottage oh, cheese. So different. Oh, yeah, the cuajada. Typical Salvadoran dishes. It's the same queso fresco. Oh, yes. Pickled cabbage, carrot toppings, baby sardines, served boiled instead of fried, okay, stuffed bread, okay, do you say like submarine sandwiches, turkey or chicken is marinated and roasted with uh, spices, hand food, beef, Sandwich is traditionally served with turkey or chicken, tomato and watercress, along with cucumber and cabbage. Let's see. Other well-known dishes, Salvadoran dishes include 
saucy beef with potatoes and carrots, beef with tomatoes, grilled steak, okay? Uh, then meat pies or pastelito de carne, okay? Chicken with mushrooms, palm flowers uh, breaded in cornmeal, fried and served with tomato sauce, okay? Lime cooked shrimp, breaded fried fish fillet. Okay, and uh, we say just like this, twin sausages, sausages, sausages. Okay, we're going to practice reading this together in the groups. So let's go there. Today we are 25 people, so the others are not here yet. All right, let's make six groups. You're hungry, right? Yes. So? I'm hungry with meal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thinking about this food that we've been talking about. Yes. Okay, my dear ones, the groups are opening. So please enter and practice with your partners. Could, could you share the presentation, Nelson? And teacher, I know activity the function. Ah, in this Here. moment. Yeah, in the moment. Okay. Yes, you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Okay, because today I am in mother's house and yeah, I am receiving my class in my phone. I'm sorry. Yeah, don't worry. It's okay, my friend. I understand. No Thank you. Okay, who is star? Uh, uh oh. For paragraph? Yes. yes. Paragraph is okay. Okay, here is. Can you see? Okay. Can we start doing it? Can you start, Ignacio? Yeah, oh, yeah, please, of course. Salvadorian typical food. Salvadorian cuisine is a style of cooking derived from the nation of El Salvador. The indigenous food consists of a mix of Native American cuisine from groups such as the Lenca, Pipil, Maya, Pocomán, Maya Chorqui, Alaguilac, Mike in cacao pera people. Many of the dishes are made with mason corn. There is also heavy use of pork and seafood. All work ingredients were incorporated after the Spanish conquest. El Salvador's most notable dish is the pupusa. I think handmade corn flour or nice or rice, sorry, flour flatbread stuffed with cheese, chicharron, cooked pork meat ground to a paste consistency. America, there are also vegetarian auction, often with iota, a tape of... Teacher, um, my friend, I need to share with my classmate, like the... Go ahead, do it. Okay. Okay. See? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Yes, welcome. Thank you. Vaya, niños, a sufrir del hambre. Tengo hambre. Esto, esto, miren, lo vi. 
Okay. Two other typical Salvadorian dishes are yuca frita and panes rellenos. Yuca frita is deep fried cassava root served with curtido, a pickled cabbage, you know, and carrot topping, and chicharrón with pepesca, fried baby sardines. The yuca is sometimes served boiled instead of fried. Panes rellenos, stuffed bread, are warm submarine sandwich. The turkey or chicken is marinated and they roasted with people spice and hand pulled. This sandwich is traditional served with turkey or chicken, tomato and watercress along with cucumber and cabbage. Other well-known Salvadoran dishes include carne guisada, a sausage beef with potato, potatoes and carrots, lomo and tomatado, beef with tomatoes, carne asada, grilled stick, usually served with a type of Salvadorian salsa called chimol, pasteles de carne, meat pies, pollo guisado con hongos, chicken with mushrooms, pacaya, planta, corn flour breaded in cornmeal, fried and served with tomato sauce, pavo salvadoreño, roast turkey with sauce, often eaten for Christmas, ceviche de camarones, lime cook, cooked shrimp, and pescado empanizado, breaded fried fish fillet, Salvadorian chorizo is short, fresh, not dried, and tied into twin sauce from Wikipedia. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe Pamela, can you read? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, Salvadorian typical food. Salvadorian cuisine is a style of cooking derived derived from the nation of Salvador. The indigenous foods consist of a mix of Native American cuisine, cuisine from groups such as the roast turkey with sauce, often eaten for Christmas, ceviche de camarón, like cook, drink, and pescado empanizado, bread, fried fish, fillet. Salvadorian chorizo is short, French, not dry, dried it and tie into twin sauce. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Lourdes, continue, please. <clears throat> Sorry. In Salvadorian cuisine. In this paragraph. Hello. Yes, yes. It's a, uh -huh, a star. Okay, okay. Salvadorian typical food. Salvadorian cuisine is a style chicken, tomato, and watercress along with cucumber and cabbage. Other well known Salvadorian dishes include carne guisada. Sauce beef with potatoes and carrots, lomo and, and tomatado, beef with tomatoes, carne asada, grilled stick, usual, usual server with type of Salvadorian salsa called chimol, pasteles de carne, meat pies, pollo guisado con hongos, chicken with mushroom, pacaya planta, palm flowers, bread in cornmeal. Fry and serve it with tomato salsa. Pavo salvadoreño, roast turkeys with salsa, often eaten for Christmas. Ceviche de camarones, lime cooked shrimp, and pescado empanizado, breaded fried fish fillet. Salvadorian chorizos is short, fresh, not dry, and tied into twin sauces. Wikipedia. 
Ah, uh, only. Okay. Uh, ah, yeah. Eh, o discutimos lo otro o lo repasamos repasamos porque hasta ahorita solo eso tenemos que hacer si okay. quieren un, un párrafo cada uno mejor no hace cinco párrafo. puntos ajá, está bien ah, okay. y a usted le tocaba verdad Angelita yes okay. uh, go ahead thank you El Salvador Quiznes is a step muy cortito the word ingredients were incorporated after the Spanish conquest. Siga, Michelle. Okay. <laughs> El Salvador's most notable dish is the pupusa, a thick handmade corn flour, flour, flour or rice flour Flatbread stuffed with cheese, chicharrón. It means cooked pork meat ground to a paste. Consistence, uh, refried beans or loroco. It means a uh, vine flour, but native to Central America. There are also vegetarian, vegetarian, I know. Vegetarian's option, often with ayote, a type of squash, or garlic. Some restaurants even offer pupusas stuffed with shrimp or spinach, which are served with salsa roja and cooked tomato sauce, often, often served with curtido. Pollo, pollo encebollado is another popular Salvadoran dish that contains chicken shimmer, shimmer it with onions. Salvadoran cheese, queso duro, hard cheese, queso fresco. Or, army, as so many. Restaurant, ever os pupusas, estufer, I will. Chirpum or sparse I wing are reserved I wing a salsa roja a cooking tomate sasuese poster reserve we curtido pollo encebollado is a another Popular Salvadorian is Aidas contra is chicken, simeren, aigui, onion, salvadora, chicken, queso duro. Ok. Hey, continue, Ana. You start. I'm sorry. In this part. Salvadorian yeah. cuisine is a style of cooking derived from the nation of El Salvador. The indigenous, indigenous foods consist of a mix of Native American cuisine from groups such as the Lenca, Pipil, Maya, Pocomam, Maya Chorti, Alahuilac, Mix, and Cacaopera uh, peoples. Many of the dishes are made with maize, corn. There is also he heavy use of pork and seafood. All war ingredients were incorporated after the Spanish conquest. Okay. Done. The Salvador, the Salvador most notable, which is the pupusa. It's handmade for flour and rice flour, that bread, stuffed with cheese, cooked pork meat ground to a paste consistent, refried beans or the roco, a bean flour but natural to 
Central America. Okay. Continue. My. Okay. There are also vegetarian options, often with ayote and hot them. This sandwich is traditional served with the turkey or chicken, tomato and what's the crust, along with cucumber and cabang. Other well now sabarina dishes include carne guisada, saucy bed, beef with potato and carrot, loma tomatada, beef with tomato, carne asada, grilled steak, usually served with Thai de sabarina salsa called, called chimol. Pastel de carne, meat, uh, meat peas, pollo guisado con hongo, chicken with mauro, pacaya planta, palm flour bread de, in cornmeal, fry and serve with tomato sauce, pavo salvadoreño, roaster turkey with sauce often eating, eating for Christmas. Ceviche de camarones, lime cooked shrimp, and pescado empanizado, braided fried fish fillet, salvadorian eh, chorizo is short, fresh, no dried, and tied into twin sauce. Oof. <laughs> okay, that's my turn. I try to, re oh my God. We have to go, <laughs> but I tried. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now let's continue. We're going to be working on a dialogue. Maybe you remember Tess and Mitch and their concert. Okay, here is, this is the next day. It says, hey Mitch, how was the concert last night? Wow, it was great. Not because I say it, but it was a great show. So I suppose tonight you're gonna rest. I mean, you don't have any other concert or stuff. No, I don't have a concert tonight. I need to rehearse though. Why the question? Is there anything in your mind? Yeah, I thought perhaps we could eat some typical food. There's a nice pupuseria three blocks from here. Don't worry, my treat. Okay, let's go. It's my treat. Yeah, I know the place. They make delicious pupusas and chocolate to die for. What time will you pick me up? First, ask your parents for permission. I don't want them to come up with crazy ideas, okay? I'll pick you up at 7.30, is that okay? Sure, I'll be ready then. Pupusas here, pupusas here come. Okay, another one, another time. Hey Mitch. How was the concert last night? Wow, it was great. Not because I said it, but it was a great show. So I suppose tonight you're gonna rest. I mean, you don't have any other concert or stuff. No, I don't have a concert tonight. I need to rehearse though. Why the question? 
Is there anything in your mind? Yeah, I thought perhaps we could eat some typical food. There's a nice pupuseria three blocks from here. Don't worry, my treat. Okay, let's go. It's my treat. Yeah, I know the place. They make delicious pupusas and chocolate to die for. What time will you pick me up? First, ask your parents for permission. I don't want them to come up with crazy ideas, okay? I'll pick you up at 7.30, is that okay? Sure, I'll be ready then. Pupusas, here I come. Okay, so this is the conversation and the questions. Okay, here you have uh, Mitch and Tess, okay, enjoying the food, even though that doesn't look like pupusas and that doesn't look like soda, but okay. What are these people discussing? What was the outcome of the concert? Now, what does Tess want? What kind of food are they planning to eat? What does Tess need to do first? What time is Mitch picking up Tess? Okay, so these are the questions that you're going to be discussing after you practice the conversation. All right, let's go to the conversation and let's practice now. Okay, pupusas, here I, I come. Okay, the conversation, well, the groups are opening. So there we go. Teacher, don't receive the invitation. Mm -hmm. So I see. Don't worry, I'm going to see if you are not in. Don't worry. Is that con Gloria, eh, con Gloria, Carlita, y Osmin. Okay. I'm going to see with Gloria, Carlita, and in Asmin. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. No problem. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Hey, Miss. How was the concert last night? Well, it was great. Not because I said it, but it was a great show. So I suppose tonight you're going to rest. I mean, you don't have any other concert or stuff. No, I don't have concert tonight. I need to rehearse through why the question is is there anything in your mind yeah i thought perhaps we could eat some topical typical food there is nice pupuseria three blocks from here don't worry my tree ah. oh let's go and it is my street my street yeah I know the place. They make delicious pupusas and chocolate to die for. What time will you pick me up? First, ask your parents for permission. I don't want them to come up with quite an idea. Okay? It'll pick up your up at seven, seven, seven minutes, seven, sorry. And that okay? Sure, I'll be ready then. Pupusa, here I come. Okay, good. Change the work. Okay. Okay, I start. I will test. Hey, Mitch, how was the concert last night? With me? Yes. Okay. Well, it was great. Not because I say it, but it was a great show. So I suppose tonight you are going to rest. I mean, you don't have any other concert or stuff. 
No, I don't have a concert tonight. I need to rehearse thought. Wait the question. Chocolate What time will you pick me up? First, ask your parents your for permission. I don't want them to come up with crazy ideas. Okay, he'll pick up your up at the 7.30. Is that okay? Sure, I'll be I'll be already then. Pupusa, here I come. Okay. Okay. Now Ignacio and I. Ignacio, you are test. Okay. Hey Mitch, how was the concert last night? Wow, it was great. Not because I said it, but it was a great show. So I suppose tonight you're going to rest. I mean, you don't have any other concert of stuff. No, I don't have a concert tonight. I need to rehearse. So, what the question? Is there, is there anything in your mind? Yeah, I so hard we could eat some typical food. There are nice pupuseria, they are blocks from here. Don't worry, my treat, my treat, sorry. Okay, let's go. And it's my treat, yeah? I know the place. They made delicious pupusas and chocolate to die for. What time will you pick me up? First, ask your parents for permission. I don't want them to come to come up with crazy ideas, okay? I'll pick you I'll pick you up at 7 30. Is that okay? Sure. You'll be ready then. Pupusas, here is come. Here I come. Okay. Now Pamela and Guadalupe. Okay, I test. Yeah. Hey, Mish, how was the concert last night? Uh, well, it was great. Not because I said it, but, I do, but it was a great show. So I suppose tonight we are going to rest. I mean, you don't have any other concert or stuff. No, I don't have a concert tonight. I need to rehearse a so Why the question? It is is there anything in your mind? Yeah, I told Perham we could eat some typical food. There is a nice pupuseria three blocks from here. Don't worry, my friend. Okay, let's go. And it's my treat. Yeah, I know the place. They make delicious pupusas and chocolate to die for. What time will you pick up me? First, ask, ask your parents for permission. I don't want them to come up with crazy ideas. Okay, I will pick up, pick, pick you up at seven and thirty. Is that okay? Sure, I to do first. Ask. Uh, ask. The permission. Yes. The permission that are the parent. Yes. Sorry. Number six. What time is Mitch picking up this? Seven thirty. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Finish. Finish. Okay. I read the group. <laughs> Pero si quiere. ¿Cuál es tu opinión? José. ¿Cuál es tu opinión? Yeah, for what, for what question you said? Sorry. I'm uh, the, the one. The one. Ah, what are the, this discussion? The more discussion. So I about I typical know. food. Also, they are talking about the, the concert of the last night. Both mm -hmm. things. Yes. Yes. I am going to. Okay. 
was the con outcomes of the concert? Um, it was a great show. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And you, Angela? Um, I think one moment. Okay. What time will you pick me up? Oh. And Uh, I am working. Okay. Uh, She's uh, working. She. Yes, I'm working. Okay. Your job is is very easy. <laughs> it's Sometimes, easy. yes. In this moment, it's time of the relax. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's see who is here and who isn't here. Adapto Linares. Present. Excellent. Adriana Stephanie Martinez. Ana Cel Micheles. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. El Guevara. Present. Nice, Michelita. Angela de Jesús Santa María. Present, teacher. Excellent, Angelita. That's nice. Uh, Darwin Edgardo Ayala. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. Gloria Elisa Linares. Here. Excellent, nice. Guadalupe del Carmen López. Present. Nice, very good. Jose Carlos Targueta. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. Lourdes Beatriz Ireta. Present. Nice, very good. Mayra Melan Guevara. Present, teacher. Nice, very good, Mayra. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. Uh, Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Nice, very good. Osmin Vargas Solórzano. Okay. Present, teacher. Excellent, nice. Pamela Beatriz Posada. Present. Nice, very good. Rafael Ernesto Gonzalez. Rosa Elena Salgado. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. Sandra Gladys Mendez. Present, teacher. Nice, very good. Beth Hernandez. Present. Nice, very good. Okay. Suma Rosaura Lopez. Present. Nice, very good. Eh, Flor de Maria Carvalho. Present, teacher. Nice, Florcita. Marvin Alexander Bonilla. René Osvaldo Bonilla. Susana Carolina Hernández. Present. Excellent. Nice, very good. Dani Anthony Siguenza. Danis Alberto Fuentes. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes. Present teacher. Nice, very good. Eduardo Ernesto Hernández. Jose Ignacio Franco Medina. Here in Soyapango, teacher, near to Unicentro, present. <laughs> Excellent. Right. Excellent. 
Carla... Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Carla. 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 Excellent, Carlita. All right, excellent, wonderful. Okay. Now let's continue. Who please said? We're going to have a reading and then we're going to be answering these questions. Then we're going to have this part that is the explanation of what we're going to be working on. And then we're going to be doing this exercise. And this is it for this part. Okay, so let's begin with the reading. This reading is principally about how Netflix uh, sidestepped the idea of, uh, let's say, in videos. Originally, when they, when they started, there was Blockbuster. Blockbuster, uh, some of you probably remember, uh, rented uh, videos, right? Videos and DVDs. They rented them for three days and some money. Uh, it was nice. It was nice. The movies were very good, high quality, and there were a large availability of, okay, items. It's nice. Now, now it's uh, China Walk. China, yes, near China. Now it's China Walk. Originally it was Blockbuster, but now it's China Walk. Okay. Okay. They they rented videos. Now uh, Netflix thought. Okay, people of Netflix thought we're going to compete. I guess the uh, start, I mean, uh, blockbusters. We're going to be renting videos. But then they thought, no, online. rent videos online. <laughs> People can watch them, they pay, they get a code, they watch the movie, and that's it. Then they pay, they get a code, they watch the movie, and that's it. And so they don't have a conflict blue. Blockbuster. But now you see that Netflix is super popular. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's read it. It says about 40 years ago, marketing strategists Al Rice and Jack Trout offered the world a way to think about making a brand memorable. The best way to be remembered is to be first in prospect's mind, representing a clear perception. Mama, mama think, uh, think about all brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scotch tape, Xerox, Kleenex, okay. No accident, they were also the first. Gillette, Quaker, do you say people say Quaker, Quaker, um, Kellogg's, etc. When people, do, people don't say oatmeal, they say Quaker. People don't say uh, cornflakes, but they say Kellogg's. They don't Kellogg. say safety blazer, but they say Gillette. Or they don't say feminine towels, they say Cotex. Or they don't say uh, face tissue, they say Kleenex. Okay, so they became synonymous with their function. People love to know uh, what is new. We can't help ourselves. Marketeers know this too. If a product gets our attention and if it, re if it really is new, it gets more than our, our attention. It gets remembered. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect's mind, the same perception you had hoped to create, you'll find it as hard to push them, push them out. A better plan is to pick up a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect's mind. Netflix would never have become or would never have made it if Reed Hastings idea had been to open a bunch of stores to compete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was 
firmly established in the minds of most prospects as the go-to, as the go-to place to rent videos or movies. Netflix sidestepped that problem by creating a perception of itself as the go-to place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, this is adapted from Forbes.com. Okay, so over here, there are some ideas that we need to remember. Number one, the, the person that comes with a, let's say, the person that comes with a concept first is the one that wins people's minds, all right? So that's going to be the first one, okay? The person that comes, uh, let's say, with a concept first, this concept may become synonymous of the product that people are selling, okay? And number two, uh, we should create a product that is new. So innovation is really important in this function. Okay, and the other thing that we should remember is uh, how Netflix beat the competition that was Blockbuster. Blockbuster was a monster at the time Netflix began. They had stores in like 141 countries. Okay, so Netflix never hoped to compete with them. But one day, Blockbuster disappeared because uh, the, th the thing became online, everything online, streaming rather than renting. So for this reason, Blockbuster died. Another reason was that uh, DVDs were easy to copy. And then there were a lot of people making copies from the DVDs and selling them at $1. So people decided to keep a, a DVD for $1 rather than rent a DVD for $3. So then they said, no, if I rent it for $3, it's very expensive. But if I buy it for $1, I can buy three for the same price of $3 that I rented for. So then they decided to, to start buying the movies at $1. So little by little, Blockbuster began to go down until they disappeared. But you see, Netflix began growing and growing and growing. And now Netflix is present all over the world. And uh, it is there to stay. We don't know for how long, because they have competitions such as Disney, right? Disney and uh, Amazon. Amazon Prime and Disney Plus are competitions for them. Well, Claro Video wanted to compete, but Claro Video obviously cannot compete. But um, who knows? Okay, so this is... These are some things that we need to remember, okay? And then the questions. Who offered the concept of memorable branding? What are some brands that have become synonymous with their function? Add three more. What's a better alternative to creating the perception of an already existing product? What would have happened if Reed Hastings had opened a rent-a-video stores instead of innovating the service. What did Netflix do differently? These are the questions that you're going to be discussing after the reading. All right, so let's go there. Let's go to read and discuss. The groups are opening and let's get ready.
Hello. Hello. Hello, Nelson. You read it for far for or or okay. Who is fierce? Me. Okay. About your about four year ago, marketing strategies are with the NJAX troop offering the world a wide thing about marketing around memory. The best way the memory remembering is to be filled in your prospect's mind representing a clear perception. Continue, other. Think about all the brands that have become synonymous with their function. Scotch, Scotch tape, Kleenex, Xerox, is not accident. They were also the first. Continue, other part. People love to know what is new. We can help ourselves. Marketers know this too. If a product gets our attention, and if it really is new, it gets more than our attention, it gets remembered. No word there. Okay. Um, it's, it is easier to just copy a business idea, political position or organizational mission from someone else. But if someone else already has gotten into your prospect mind with the same perception, you have hope to create. You'll find it is hard support to push them out. A better plan is to pick a different perception, one that you can be the first to put into your prospect mind. Continue. Or Nelson. Creo, creo que Dani ya no está, Nelson. You are in mute, Nelson. Sorry. <laughs> Netflix would have, would never have made it the Friday. It will hosting idea has been to open bush of store to comp compete with Blockbuster. Mayra, continue. At the time, Netflix launched the perception of Blockbuster was firmly, firm, firmly established in the mind of the most prospect as the go-to place to rent movies. Finish, continue. Ooh, I lost. Hi. It's difficult for me in seeing the, the, these two. If a product gets our attention and if they're really, really is new, it gets more than our attention. It's good remembering. It is easier to just copy a business idea, political position or organizational mission from someone else but if you someone someone else around already has gotten into your, their prospect prospect mind with the same perception you have to hope it to create it you will find finding it's hard to push them out a better plan is to pick up different perception one you can be, you can be there first to point to put into your prospect mind. Netflix would never have made it if read casting idea had been to open a bunch of the stores to complete with Blockbuster. At the time Netflix launched, the perception of Blockbuster was firmly established in the minds of most prospects as to go. 
place to rent movies. Netflix this says say that's the pay the problem by creating a perception of itself as to go place to rent movies online. That was new. Okay, I read. About four years ago, marketing strategic always the job through offer the world a way a way to think, to think about making a brand memory. The best way to to be remembered is to be first into your prospect, mean re representing a clear perception. Think about all the brand that had become synonym, synonymous with their function. function. Scott Day Clinics Xerox is no accident. Is no accident. Accident. They they were all the first. People love the to know what is new. We can't help ourselves. Mm. Okay, what is the alternative to create the perception of an existing product? Creating the perception. perception. Ready. Maybe have a brand memorable? No. No, you can do that. Okay. Let's create a new brand. In the second, no. In the in the red, say a better plan is to pick a different perception. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can be first to put in your prospect mind. Okay, I number. Think. Yes, okay. number four. What would have happened if it would have been had open rent a video store instead of innovating the service? Mm -hmm. No, well, I think that uh, Blockbuster maybe go more bigger. Igual. <laughs> Ahorita no, a mí la salvacola. No. Es como agua, agua teñida estoy tomando. Es una cosa como veneno para el estómago. Así es. En serio. Okay. ¿Cuál es la otra? ¿Cuál sería eh, otra? La otra es uh. Brother en eh, Brandy. Brand, eh. Bueno, The Food. Eh, hay... pollo, pollo. ¿Don Pollo? Eh, pollo eh, de... Yeah. El campestre. Eh, eh, que, que prácticamente pusieron, así en español, rapidito, casi los mismos colores que el pollo campero. Ah, de verdad. ¿Mm? Sí, porque sé que es diferente y me gusta más el campestre que el campero. Uh -huh. <risa> no, que el pollo, don pollo, pero don pollo sí es como... <risa> The problem by creating a perception of itself as the Kotkoro place to rent movies online. That was new. Question. Okay. 
is the who offered the concept of memorial branding. Uh, branding. Perdón, perdón, me pasé. Pero en más. Similar más, más brand. Que son memorables, me imagino. Store. Ay, me dio pena. <laughs> to compete with the poster and the high Netflix launch the perception out of the poster was filming established in the mid of most prosper as the good place to read movie. Netflix, they see the Spain does problem be creating a perception of this as the two placing to remove it online that's what new adapted for forward <laughs> that's all next Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now that the, the groups have closed, let's continue. We have who offered the concept of memorable branding? Two people. Three words in Jack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes? I'll write in Jack. I'll write in Jack, please. And. Uh, out what's his name jack trout jack trout jack trucha jack trucha jack trout and rice arroz <laughs> arroz okay imagine arroz con trucha so that's nice very good okay today because we've been hungry from talking about typical food okay what are speaking the eating? Uh, they, eating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what, that's what we're thinking about eating. Okay, <laughs> what brands have become synonymous with their functions? You remember, we were saying clinic. Xerox, the coffee machine, right? Xerox, a Typewriters, how many of you remember the typewriters? Some little paper that you put in the typewriter to erase. You remember that you uh, maybe, maybe you were typing, you were typing something and you made a mistake and then you put a little piece of, you went. Yes, that a, was a great thing to, to erase. To erase mistakes. Uh -huh. But you had to calculate. Uh -huh. Yes. That was Xerox. Xerox. Oh, yes. And then photocopying, the photocopy machine, Xerox. Then they became synonyms with that. They say, I need to Xerox these documents. Means I need to copy these documents. Okay. 
What else? What other products? We mentioned Gillette. We mentioned Quaker. We mentioned Kellogg's. We mentioned, what else? Po people were saying Pollo Campero, of course. Some people don't say, let's go to eat uh, fried chicken. They say, let's go to eat Pollo Campero, right? So it became synonymous with fried chicken. What else? Uh, Rosita was saying yesterday, Rinso. Uh -huh. Rinso is another one. What's another one? That uh, the people use the name. Oh, when you say, I, uh, I have to buy Suavitel. Suavitel. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's, there what? are another brands. It's another one, yeah, and there are mm -hmm. What else? Maybe, uh, how do you say? Fresky top for refreshment. Yes. Fresky top. What flavor? Pineapple, <laughs> strawberry, or grape. You remember? Then we had Tang, Toki, 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 uh, and others. What others? Difficult to remember. Okay. What's a better alternative to creating the perception of an already existing product? To create something new, right? To create something new. What would, what would have happened if Reed Hastings had opened a rent-a-video store instead of innovating the service? The, com the, the competition that was blockbuster would have destroyed them, definitely. What did Netflix do differently? Instead of physical renting, renting online. Okay, that was wonderful. Yeah, very good idea. Let's move on. We're going to move to this one. This is the introduction of what we're going to be working on. It says, sometimes we need to introduce clarification or the explanation or exemplification of our ideas as we speak. Use in other words, that is, simply put, etc., to make your point clear to others. Okay, over here, we're going to be doing that. Check over here. One way to help your target market like, uh, like and trust you is to publish, to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. So write often. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. Okay, number two, you can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market, a wider market, by developing a podcast. A podcast is an oral or an MP3 presentation of a, of a topic, right? That is to say, record your talks and, and allow your customers to download it, podcasts. Today's customers are looking for guarantees. Simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased your product, okay? So simply put, over here we have simply put, here we have that is, in other words, okay. Another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site. Namely means, for example, a Facebook group. For example, a Facebook group. The ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This means, or which means, that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs. So the key word here is this means or which means. That would be the explanation. So the words that we use are, in other words, that is, simply put, namely, and uh, this means or which means. Now, okay, let's see. Insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentences. 
We're going to do this one together. It says, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. Simply put, social networking sites. So we put, uh, simply put, is going to be here. Oops, there it goes. Simply put. So we're going to insert simply put here. Now the other one, brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. The consumer knows that a particular brand exists. How, what do we insert here? Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. The consumer knows that a particular brand exists, which means you can say, which means the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Now, brand recognition happens when a customer is able to identify a certain product or service, namely by viewing the product's logo, namely by viewing the product's logo. These brands have become well-known. They have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. Okay, which means, which means they have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. Let's eat Kellogg's instead of let's eat something else, okay? Let's see. The last one, you have to publish high quality content. Okay, simply put, now, what will you say? In other words, now, because it says by creating valuable content to introduce to new audiences, which do you think we, we can use? No, in other words, not simply put, maybe namely, could be right, namely by creating valuable content to introduce to new audiences. For example, right, maybe, okay. So we have to put it here, here, and of course here. That's what we introduce. Now we're going to practice this because we need to see it. Clarification. What do we use to ask for clarification? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. I don't quite understand. I'm not quite sure I know what you mean. I'm not quite sure I follow you. I don't quite see what you mean. I'm not sure I got your point. Sorry, I didn't quite hear what you said. Sorry, I didn't get your point. I don't quite see what you're getting at. This is asking for clarification. Okay, so uh, paraphrasing or putting it in the words to see if you understood what the people said. Uh, what do you mean by this? Do you mean this? Could you say that again, please? Could you repeat that, please? Could you clarify that, please? Would you elaborate on that, please? Could you be more explicit? Could you explain what you mean by this? Can you give us an example? I wonder if you could say that in a different way. Could you put it differently, please? Could you be more specific, please? Right, so you can ask for clarification. All right. But then the people offer explanation or clarification saying like this, let me explain that. Let me explain that in more detail. Let me put it in another way. Sorry, let me explain. In other words, to say this differently, 
to put it differently. So this is when you paraphrase. Okay, this is what we're going to be doing in these exercises. Here are these exercises. You may use the ones that you feel up to, okay? Let me see. First, I, I mean, in other words, in this case, that is to say, what I mean is to put in another way, put it simply, simply put in a nutshell. In a nutshell means in a short way or in a more concrete way. In one word, this means in other terms, said another way. You may use any of them and you can use them more than once, no problem. I need to pay for their work for the material and for the permission. Uh, we, in other words, it's going to be very expensive, but you decide. Okay, you need to pay for their work, for the material and the permissions. Uh, that is to say, it's gonna be very expensive, but you decide. Okay, or you can say, you need to pay for their work, for the material and the permissions. Put it another way, it's gonna be very expensive, but you decide, okay? And you say, um, we need to pay for their work, for the material and the permissions. In other words, it's gonna be very expensive, but you decide, okay? And you can use the same for the others. You decide which to use. You're going to be working on this uh, in, the, in the groups, okay? before you fall asleep because you are very tired today. So, okay, let's see. Let's go to the groups. Okay, groups are beginning. Okay. Lourdes, you may enter. Lourdes, you may enter your group. Yes. Teacher. Hello. Hello, teacher. And, and I, I, I fear the the exercise, or exercise. Is it a, it's a task? Yes. You may use the words that are at the top. You choose the one that you, the ones that you consider would be better. This one, this okay. one. Okay. These are only examples. No. I mean, in other words, in this case, that is to say, okay. Okay. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, we need to pay for the work. For the could it be could it be this means this means she can't eat anything. Or in other words, maybe. In other words, this means uh -huh. put it me. put it another way. When you use okay. it, it says to put it another way, but you eliminate two, and only you say, put it, put it another way, or ah, eliminate two, okay. eliminate it, put okay. it another way. Put it simply, simply put in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can say in a nutshell here too. We, okay, like the lady, she can't eat sweets, most uh, most vegetables and fruit, bread, ice cream, red meat, tortillas and tamales. In a nutshell, she can't eat anything. In a word, she can't eat anything. Okay. 
Okay. She complained about the weather. The wind, the dust, and the food. And the food. Oh, you can put in a nutshell here too. She complained about having come here. Okay. 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 So bread, ice cream, bread, meat, potatoes, and bananas. Carlita. Hola. Over here, what you are completing with the information that is at the top. So, for, for example, we need to pay for their work, for the material and the permissions, in other words, it's going to be very expensive, but you decide. Or you can say, we need to pay for their work, for the material, and uh, for the permission. Put uh -huh. Okay, simply put, it's going to be very expensive, but you decide. So you're going to use these expressions. I mean, in other words, in this case, that is to say. Ah, I mean, okay. ah todas estas son las que tenemos que usar. Yes. Yes. Están las palabras. Yes. Uh, put it away, etc. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Uh, okay. In other words. Okay, es más fácil de lo que de lo que pensamos. Yes. Vamos a hacer eso. Yes, así que vamos a hacer other words in the case. Yes, okay. yes such as told you. Yes. Okay. Here is the one that you're going to be using. They visited Netherlands, Germany, Austria, France, Italy, Greece, Spain, and the UK. In other words, they visited most of Europe. You can say, uh, in this case, they visited most of Europe. Or you can say, uh, this means, this means, right? So the words over here is, are the ones that you're going to use to complete. I mean, in other words, in this case, that is to say, what I mean is to put, you can repeat them, no problem. Okay, you may repeat them. You, I mean, you can use them more than once. Okay, teacher. In, in other words, okay. thank you, teacher. La mayor parte de Europa. You're welcome. In other words, with a, I mean, in other words, in this case, like they visited the Netherlands, Germany, Austria, France, Italy, Greece, Spain, and the UK. In other words, they visited most of Europe. Mm -hmm. The Netherlands, Germany, Austria, France, Italy, Greece, Spain, and the UK, which means they visited most of Europe or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Put simply, they visited most of Europe. Or put it simply, they visited most of Europe. Said another way, they put, they visited most of Europe. Okay, so this is what you're going to be using. These words over here to complete. Okay. She can eat sweets. Don't worry, they are only 14. Dice que dice que en the anoya. Why? In order to be simple. Simple put. She's done. 
Complaint is. She's complaining about the way, the way, the dress, the color of the. Yes, se queja. That, she complained about the weather. The that one. That light blue is difficult to see. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sorry, teacher. She's complaining about the weather. My, the wind, my the dust, the is, I cannot see it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the yeah, she about she maybe about to the put in another yeah. way, she complaining about having come here. Mm -hmm. Ella se queja acerca de todo lo que tenemos. Todo lo, lo que viene aquí, lo que tiene aquí, como que de todo se queja. Ajá, exacto. To put in, in another, another way, term. or in other term, or in other in words. Other <laughs> Ana Selmi solo en other words dice, yo, ya. Miss logic in other words. <laughs> that's, an, that's another advancement. That's okay. No problem. Yes, it's okay. In other words. Which means but put simple. In my mind. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In my mind is logic. In other words. Yes. She complaining oh. about having come here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before. She. She is not conform. She's not comfortable. Uh -huh. yeah. Comfortable uh -huh. with anything. Okay. <laughs> That's the next week, the next pay. Simple put. Simple. 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 Okay. Number five. They, they found, found they all found. the traffic line red. Ran into a lot of traffic jam. Found a car accident and were fined by the police. In other terms, <laughs> or the other expression, but not in other words. <laughs> but in the other words. Yeah. And tell me, is another word expression. Yes, exactly. Teacher, what is, is a new This means, this means, in a nutshell, okay. means in one word. In one word. Ah, okay. It's in one uh, word. So you can say. They ran late, they found all of the traffic. Uh, they they were fined by the police, they had an accident, the car broke down. Oh uh, teacher. So they had a terrible day. Yeah. <laughs> in one oh, word, yes. it was well, in a couple of words, it was a horrible day. Okay. In one word. One word. One word. In one word. Said said in a different way, they had a terrible day. Yeah. To put it simply, to put it simply, they had a terrible day. They found all the traffic lights. But put it simple, put it simple, like como poniéndotelo eh, simple, simple, simplify, directo, mm -hmm. uh -huh, simplify, simplifying it. Okay. Yes. They found all the traffic lights red, ran into a lot of traffic jams, found a car accident, were fined by the police, their car broke down. They they met their mother-in-laws and well, that was a terrible day. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Their, their teacher, their mother-in-law. Teacher <laughs> changed the, the color. Yeah, <laughs> Nelson, how do you say follow follow the, the instructions? He follows instructions. In other words, yes. he's a good boy. <laughs> In another word, he, he is very obedient. He's very obedient. In other no, words, so so obedient. He's very obedient. Very obedient. Right. Okay. She came up with a lot. Excuse. He came up with a lot of excuses. 
he won't help. In other words, uh, in other terms, uh, <laughs> no, he won't help sure. me. <laughs> change, change. Yes. Learn the other expression. Uh, in other terms, mm. he won't help me. Oh, yes. in, 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 okay. in one word. Put it simple. Put it simply. Oh. Put it, put it simple. Simply. Oh, simple. Simplemente, put it simply. Yeah. Uh -huh. Simplemente, he won't help me. You can say only simply. Yes. She won't help me. Put it simply. Put it simply. Is it correct? Put it simply. Put it simply. Um, Simply, put it simply. Simple. It's why. Simply, why. Mm -hmm. The last word, Nelson, in the simple. In... Sure, how do you use in a nutshell? In a nutshell means in one word. Ah, okay, in one word. For example, pull it up, pull it up. The one that he says, she gave a lot of excuses. In a nutshell, she won't help me. Ah, okay. Put okay. it simply, put it simply, she won't help me. In other words, all of them you can use in other words. <laughs> In other words, in other words, in other words. Uh -huh, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's the most common. Mm -hmm. You can use it. Why not? No problem. Okay. In a nutshell, the, the, the synonym is in one word. Ah, okay. One. Mm -hmm. Maybe if just when I'm just saying something, so an explanation, but you can say in a nutshell, do that. Yeah. Like, for example, uh, someone says, Mom, um, I need, I need, I need to get the books, buy the uniform, uh, buy a pair of shoes, and pay for the tuition. And aha, uh -huh, come on, hurry up! In a nutshell, yeah. you need money, right? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm, so, I'm going to say that to my, to my son. <laughs> for money. Is that <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Okay, in a nutshell. Oh, put it simple. Put it simple. Ah, okay. Put it simply. Put it simply. Put right? it simply. 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 Put it simply. Okay. Put it simply. Okay. That's that's words are very useful. Very useful, yes. Yes. In a nutshell. In other words. In other words. In other words. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen people were missing. Groups are closing. 
All right. Now that the, book, the groups have closed, my dear ones, I know that you are very tired and uh, we are missing a lot of things. In other words, we didn't finish. <laughs> In a nutshell, we didn't finish. So tomorrow we're going to pick it up and we're going to uh, hammer it down so that it may be clear, all right? Today, I'm going to just let you go and rest because you're going to, I mean, you need to do the homework and rest because some of you are looking at me and okay, with the head down, so no. All right, only let's see who's going to be with me today. Today, we're going to have Selmi. Selmi stays with me today, okay? Hey, teacher. Yeah, tomorrow, Michelita, but Michelita no, is not here today, okay? And on, on Monday, Angelita is going to be with me on Monday. In other words, only three people will be with me and that's it. And we finish Monday. Ladies and gentlemen, no more words. Thank you very much for attending. I know that you're tired. Please go and do the homework and then go to sleep. You deserve it. In other words. Tomorrow, the homework. Monday, <laughs> finish, teacher. Okay. Good night. Take care, my friend. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bless you all. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Tell me, how are you? Mm -hmm. Fine, tired, but good. <laughs> okay, you are because this is hot, yes, are work. tired. In other words, yes. you are. <laughs> In other words, I am Not... very, very stressed. <laughs> stressful. Yes. Stressful? It's okay. Ah, yeah, you can say stressful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Teacher. One question, what is your recommendation in my case? I, I have identified, I have a big problem with my listen when, um, when in, in the class is, is more uh, comprehensive for me because you speak slow, uh, mm -hmm. slow. yeah. But in my work, I, I, I have a lot of uh, call conference or, or meetings in general in, in English. But in general, for me, it's very, very difficult, the, the listening. Uh -huh. Okay, one thing that you can do is, okay, you like songs and you like from the 70s and 80s. I cannot yes. give any bit of sound in class. One of the things that ah, really, you know, gets on my nerves is that I cannot play any sound, okay? Original, mm -hmm. like um, yeah. a conversation between two Americans for you to listen and practice. No, I can't do yeah. that. Actually, the whole system doesn't permit it. And, also, and worse, that we're going to uh, upload it to the internet. I mean, we're going to upload it to YouTube, but it's censored and the video is blocked. For that reason, I can't do that. Yet, uh, I'm going to tell you about some um, applications, some apps that you can use. Uh, okay. This is and a, a piece of advice. And I don't think that this YouTube will block it because um, I mean, it cannot. There is, I have one application that is a radio. Radio. Uh, the world, world radio. World, world radio. World radio. In the world radio, you open the app, uh, you choose the radio station. Okay. Yes, I am trying to to with the the exercise of the lyric 
lyrics, how do you say, lyrics training? The, yes, with the lyrics. You can, you can uh -huh. be like that. Watch a video, let's say, of your favorite songs with lyrics. Yeah. And then you listen and you sing. You sing. So you're practicing pronunciation. Okay. And at the same time, you are listening. Okay. And you're becoming familiar with the sounds. That's one of the things. In the case of the radio, you can be busy doing whatever you're doing. And you listen to people from um, England, uh, from the United States, from different parts, mm -hmm. from Canada or from other places. And they are talking in English and they are talking in English at a regular pace, a little bit fast because that is the way to speak. So that's one of the things that is going to help you unlock your hearing. Okay. That's okay. One. What's another one? I have another app. I have another app that is, uh, uh, is for books. This is for books. The name is Libro Box. Libro Box. Libro. Libro Box is the name of this one. So they they are free, teacher. Completely free. They are free, and you can. I mean, that is in the public dominion. So you you, you can download the books. Okay, uh, one is audio books is the name. One of one of them is audio books. Okay, audio books, right? Audio books, audio books. It's okay, the, the beginning, the, the level basic. Well, you can, I mean, you can understand it. Well, there is one thing also that you can do. Mm, for example, there is one that is called learn English with books or by reading. <laughs> So you can open, you can open in YouTube mm -hmm. if you want, and uh, there is the, the text. You can listen to a person reading and the page turns and then continue reading that page turns and you continue reading. That's one way to practice and train your ears. Yeah, okay. but because for me it's easier the reading because in my work, my back is the technical um, Special, words. Specialized English, uh huh? The technical, technical language for uh, the our standard professional standard. Yes. And the reading is easier than the the listening. The listening, but is I um I <laughs> in my case is maybe in my mind. <laughs> The problem because I, I am trying to 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 practice but need more practice. I know definitely yes and practice makes perfect. Okay, for example here there is one that is called uh, is for ebooks. Here you have e Sun Tzu and the Art of the War, Twelve Years as a Slave, Sherlock Holmes. Little Women, uh, yes. you remember Little Women by Louisa May. Yep. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. it's a good book. Uh, Arsene Login has also other books. The Gatsby, The Secret Adversary, Ro Romeo and Juliet, okay, and different others. A, dan a Dangerous Game, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, Heart of Darkness, Frankenstein, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, and yeah. a lot of books. <laughs> so, <coughs> so, and you can have. Bless you, teacher. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, you can look sim simply if you don't want to download any of these because maybe you don't have a lot of room in your computer. What you can do is go to YouTube and, and look for audio books, just like that, yeah. audio books. And then when you find audio books, you can begin now. You choose the books that appear. Yeah. One, of books, one of the books that I'm reading 
I'm going to show it to you. Let me see, no, probably not because the same YouTube will block the video. But I can tell you like this, the name of the book is The Day of the Triffids. On YouTube, look for The Day of the Triffids. I'm going to put it here in the chat for you to see it. Yes, please. Uh -huh. the, name, the, the name of the book is The Day of the Triffids. It's an audio book. Audio book. It's, it's read, this book is read by an actor, by a famous actor. Okay. Uh, one of the things that you can also do is, for example, the Bible. The Bible is in English. The Bible, yeah. yeah I try to, uh, but the, yes, the only the writing, not the listen. No, but you have on YouTube, on YouTube, for example, you have uh, uh, one actor that was uh, Hercule, Hercules Poirot, that is from, uh, from one of these this writers, let me see. Um, I forget the name of this lady. She's a famous, super, very, super famous writer. Uh, she, she has written, I don't know, maybe like 200 books and she's very famous. Um, you can look for this one on YouTube. Uh, let me see, the name of, the, the, the name of this actor is, um, and he reads beautifully, beautifully, believe me. He's British and he reads beautifully. Uh, he reads the Bible in standard, no, the new, the new international version, but it's very good. Let me see. I was, I will tell you the name because I don't remember right now the name. Let me see. Uh, say internet say international red version read by uh, let me see over here uh, let, me see. let me see if it appears who who it is read by. Uh -huh. it, it, it may be difficult to understand. David Suchet. David Maybe? David Suchet is the name of the, the one that I'm David. taking. David. 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 Sushet. Sushet. And you can begin, you can begin by reading Psalms, Psalms, Salmos, yes. Psalms. Yes. Because Psalms is easier and or Proverbs. Proverbs and Psalms are easier than if you start reading they, I mean uh, the Apostle Paul or Peter or St. James. No, but you can just. Uh, begin with those and you will find it uh, nice, inspiring, beautiful. But David, he has the whole Bible, okay? 100, I mean, yeah. one hour and 51 minutes, but you can have book by book. You choose yeah. them and you can be listening. And one thing, don't worry, download in the, on the telephone, download the, the written form. Okay. Down the international version on the and then you open it on the cell phone and you on your on your computer you can be listening and reading in the cell phone and that can help you or you can you can download it uh, for the computer and you open it and you have the audio and you are reading so that is another thing that can oh, it's good mm -hmm. It's good. No, thank you, teacher. Yes, I, I, in my, in my mind, uh -huh. I say. 
I need to ask yes. to my teacher about <laughs> recommendation. Thanks, you because, can. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yes, I. For me, it's very important to to improve. Okay, and you are very yeah. smart. You're very smart. So you thank can. You, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Well, thank you. So that you can go and do the homework, and then uh, uh, you can put in practice what I'm telling, you, right? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I can share some things that I have. I'm going to be putting the links in the chat, but I'm going to see what, how, and what I'm going to share. Okay. Okay, so, teacher. Thank you very much for staying. Oh, thank you for you. Yes. I appreciate. Okay. Appreciate. Yes. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Okay, my friend. See you tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Bye. Good night. Take care, my friend.